Hey everybody, it's Simmerstock. I know the audio on this video is a little bit more silent than I would have hoped. Therefore, you will need to turn up your volume, but just make sure to turn it back down before the end of the video, that way you're not startled by the next video. Hey everybody, it's Simmer's Talk, and welcome back to another video, and in this video we're going to be doing each room is a different pixie, Disney pixie, <laughs> plot. We're going to be doing each room is a different Disney pixie fairy, so if you've ever, you know, lived in, I don't even know if it's still a thing anymore, but there was a show with the Disney pixie fairies and I used to watch it when I was younger and there was a whole game online that they brought back recently so honestly I thought this would be perfect because you know they all got their different personalities they all got different colors we can work with so why not so I got our wheel right here and I already put in our fairies with their designated colors I guess so we're gonna go ahead spin it and I'm also going to show you what our rooms looks like, our rooms, oh my goodness, what our room system looks like right now. Because we only got five rooms because we, we're only doing five characters. So as you can see, we got five rooms. This one is the living room. This one will be our dining room. This is our kitchen up top, our bathroom, and our uh, bedroom. Now I tried to make it as simple as possible because we only have five options to work with and I also did not decorate the outside so we can fully focus on the inside. Let's start with the bedroom. I'm gonna go ahead and spin the wheel and that will be who we're gonna do for the bedroom. So let's go ahead and spin our wheel. Let's see. I think it's gonna land- oh it landed on Iridessa, okay. Like the little light fairy, you know, she's yellow. I, I'll show a picture of her right here. And that's basically what we're going to base the room off of. So let's start with our bedroom. Got a new bed since I downloaded that tiny living pad. But we're going to go ahead and sort this by colors. We're obviously going to go for a yellow bed. This bed is the cutest, like, <laughs> like the cutest bed in the game that's yellow in my opinion. And I think we're just gonna stick it out with just a basic yellow color, but we're gonna deck it out with some paintings and everything. We're gonna make it look cute. Don't know what the hell this is. I don't know if it's a table or a seat. It, it's under tables, but it looks cute like a little seat. So I'm gonna put this in the corner of the room. I might wanna turn on move objects. On. So we're gonna go with like this little window with the shutters on the outside. I'm also going to press Fn and F5 in order to get smaller increments and place them down a little bit. Got some curtains. Now obviously these don't come in like a paler yellow. They just come in yellow. <laughs> and I might want to move that bed out a little bit so it doesn't cut through. But we also want to be mindful of the TV in front of the bed. Honestly, this base game yellow rug is kind of speaking to me a little bit just because it's not too yellow and it's just kind of simple, more neutral. Honestly, this one looks cute, so I'm going to stick with it and we're going to place it throughout the house too because that will also give me a base to work with. And I don't know if I want tile or wood in the kitchen yet, so we're just going to place down wood for right now. Mirror, maybe we'll place it next to this seat table thing because I really don't believe this is a table. Like, <laughs> What is this? So no, she's not a plant fairy, but I think this face is super cute. These little sunflower thingies here, I don't care. They're cute to me. <laughs> I think they're super adorable. Little lantern thing is like speaking to me because fairies. <laughs> I used to think I could catch fairies in like the little glass lantern thingies. I don't know. I don't know what it was. It's light. It's all, that's all that matters. These little, I know it's a little extra, but we could put these little star thingies just right above her bed. We don't have to put it everywhere. We just want it to look bright in here, you know what I mean? Like, she's all about light. So apparently this thingy is a table. I'm gonna put this little candle thingy from Dine Out, and I think that's super cute. These little light wall fixture thingies by, like, the mirror, I think that'll look cool. I think this is pretty good for what we're working with and we'll go ahead and change the light colors to match the fairy colors as well at the end so it'll all look like it goes well so this is our first room for iridessa we're gonna go ahead spin the wheel see who it lands on for our um 
living room and it is silver mist now i was thinking silver mist would probably be best for a bathroom but oh well i feel like we'll have a better time finding things that are blue because i don't know why but the sims 4 loves blue like look at this <laughs> look at this this couch looks really good so i think i'm gonna find a wallpaper that goes around it I don't know why, but I feel like we just kind of need like a neutral painting to kind of offset everything that's blue. A little coat rack by the door. We're just gonna choose out a TV that I think looks best. But I actually really love this carpet because I've never used Tiny Living. I've never seen these, these um, these items. So don't mind me. I think I'm actually gonna use these paintings from Pets just because I think they're cute and they go with each other. I'm gonna use this one. I believe it's from Spade, so that's a cute one. I don't know why, but a mushroom always gives off like a fairy vibe and it's also considered a seat, so why not? <laughs> and it looks kind of cute in here. Let me just move it over here. I went ahead and made the room smaller because I just felt like we were basically done. We added all we could add. Just to top it off, we'll add this watering can. So we're gonna spin our spinner, and if it lands on somebody we already did, we'll just go ahead and re-spin. So, it landed on Tinkerbell, so that's who we're gonna do. I meant to say we're doing, doing the dining room, so that's what room we're doing next. And we can use green, so that's what we will do. Leaf pattern wallpaper is kind of speaking to me a little bit, so I think I might use that. I also feel it would only be right to have like a center light. This is the one we're gonna use and it's under green, so I believe it is green. And we might use this base game um, table. Use these chairs. I know they're white, but hang on because we're gonna use a green rug. But I like these chairs because they kind of scream like fantasy, like I don't know, the twirlies. I don't know. They're just screaming fairy to me, <laughs> okay? That's what it's doing. So we're gonna add a few windows also put curtains on those i think they're cute and we're gonna size them down so we can fit all three so i was thinking maybe we would just go plain green you know it doesn't look bad and we might change these curtains to like white or something here we go so we got iridessa we got silver mist and we got tinkerbell and we'll go ahead and change the light color to fit the color scheme that the fairy is in so we've done Tinkerbell, we've done Iridessa, and we've done Silver Mist. Now all we have is Rosetta and Fawn, and we're gonna spin until it randomly lands on one of them. So actually first try, it landed on Fawn, so yay! Now that we have our mess of a house, we're probably gonna do Fawn for the uh, kitchen. That way we can add like a cat or a dog bowl or something. Anyways, her colors are orange, so we're gonna see what we can find that's orange that we can work with. We're gonna go with these and we'll add tile instead for the floor, okay? So we'll go to tile, see what we have. We're not gonna use orange tile, we'll probably use white. Let's look into the bathroom -y. Okay, so we'll stick with this one. Just something basic we're gonna go ahead and copy this countertop we'll leave a, a piece blank right here for a fridge and then we'll go and wrap it around for the challenge <laughs> this is what we will work with we'll go ahead and find um, our cabinets are these the only orange cabinets no way okay well I guess we have to work with them don't If that's the case, I'd rather would have used the other countertops, but it's, it's too late, you, you guys. We're too far in. So we're just gonna choose the, <laughs> these ugly little cabinets. I don't even think they're for the same counter, but whatever. It's orange. Yeah, that's cute, I guess. I mean, it's as cute as it's gonna get, you guys. Honestly, with the colors we're working with, <laughs> We might go with something basic for the wall, maybe just a plain orange. Honestly, we'll do this one because I, I kind of like this. This kitchen looks so freaking fugly, but there's, there's no way we're going back now. We're too far in. Might as well place an orange sink while we're at it, huh? 
we, we got an orange bowl too. We're gonna place another one down and act like it's like a water bowl and a food bowl. It's like so, and we're gonna find some orange bar stools. Weirdly, these ones come in orange. And it looks kind of good actually. Maybe these like little pine cone flower thingy, bundle thingies. I don't know what they are, but they're kind of cute. And there we go. That's as far as we're getting as, oh wait, you know what else we could do? And I actually think this would look better in terms of the kitchen because you know, cooking and shit. Then maybe we have like a little dog sticker or something because she is an animal um, fairy and like these are like little dog bowls or cat bowls or whatever. Hell, we could add a cat too. Go ahead and change the lighting of that room in a second, but that's what we got for fun. Moving on to our next room, which is our last but not least, is Rosetta. And she is like a rosy pink red uh, fairy and she's the garden fairy, so she works with the garden. So obviously we gotta add things that represent um, plants and everything. We're gonna look for like a pinkish red um, wallpaper she is a plant um sim or pl oh my gosh a plant fairy we're gonna uh, add this plant wallpaper we could even go as far as adding pink tile which is actually kind of cute with the pink and the flowers we'll also add a bathtub white i mean not the white i think the pink counters are doing a little bit too much so we might just make it white there something like that that's actually kind of cute i like this bathroom a lot actually We'll add a little robe and a little hand towel. Of course, we gotta add plants. We'll even add this little flower rug in front of the bathtub. There we go. I think we actually did quite good for that room. I actually love that room compared to a lot of them. I, I love the yellow one the best, but this one's actually kind of cute too. But anyways, this has been the Disney Pixie Fairy Room Challenge decorate thingy <laughs> i don't know what to call it i'll figure out a title but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see more content like this just let me know in the comments below i'm gonna go ahead and change the room colors to match the uh or the light colors to match the room colors that way when i upload it in the thumbnail it'll look all pretty and yeah if you guys enjoyed go ahead and leave a comment in the Go ahead and leave a like and leave a comment in the comments below. What do you want to see next? What was your favorite part of the video? What was your favorite room in general? Honestly, we can agree to disagree or agree to agree that Fawn should be in last because I feel like her room, she could have had such a better room, but I feel like I did okay considering. Um, also, I feel like I didn't do the best on uh, Silver Mist's room, but you know, whatever. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.